Let me know if you have some time. I can train and certify you in something else. Prove you know your way around a forge and I'll certify you. But you have to commit. I can only train one discipline at a time. I want you to craft a simple iron dagger. First you'll mine some iron ore, then refine the ore into iron ingots. You'll use those ingots to make the dagger. Yes. You have to prove you know your way around the blacksmithing station. Those are the rules. For now, bring me an armload of iron ore. Once you're back, you'll refine them into iron ingots. There's a place outside of town which should still have some iron ore veins. Head there and mine it for yourself. Bring me ten solid chunks of iron ore. If those veins are played out, you'll need to find iron ore on your own. You're back. I take it you found enough ore? Refining ore into ingots is a good way to build your muscles. Well, in one arm. Best to switch every now and then. Otherwise, you'll be lopsided. Bring the iron ore to a blacksmithing station. If you have enough, you can refine them into iron ingots. Really put your back into it. When you have iron ingots, return to me. Look near rock formations, outcroppings or hills. Sometimes you'll see it by streams or beaches where the water has exposed it to the elements. The same goes for most other kinds of ore. If you're in a guild, check the guild stores. They often have raw materials and refined goods for sale. Of course, you can always trade with a friend. Bring some iron ore to a blacksmithing station. You can refine it there to get iron ingots. Refining ore into ingots is a good way to build your muscles. Well, in one arm. Best to switch every now and then. Otherwise, you'll be lopsided. Go to the blacksmithing station and craft an iron dagger. Nothing fancy. You shouldn't need more than two iron ingots. Oh, and you'll need a style material. You can purchase them from any blacksmith, or scavenge them yourself if you're thrifty. Every race has a traditional material they work into their weapons and armour. For example, the Imperial style material is nickel. I should know. Every day in the Legion camps, I worked a pile of it. The Argonian style material is flint. See how you do with that. You can learn how to craft with another race's style material by studying racial motif books. They're quite rare, mostly held by collectors, so watch for them in your travels. Craft an iron dagger. You'll need some iron ingots and a style material. You can buy those from any blacksmith if you can't find them yourself. The trick is the style material, but I'm sure you know that. Next is deconstruction. You learn a lot when you break something into parts, even more so when it's someone else's work. Go deconstruct your dagger, or anything else really as long as you do it at a blacksmithing station. You'll regain some components, of course, but the real trick is to deconstruct another crafter's work. You can learn far more by disassembling someone else's material than your own. It's a fancy way to say, take something apart. 
The term originally came from Ultima poetry critiques. High elves consider their physical crafts to be forms of poetry, so it stuck. You can't know what a sword is, only what it's not, and so forth. You certainly know your way around a forge. You're a blacksmith, and let none tell you otherwise. Of course. I'll get you certified right away so you can fulfill blacksmith crafting writs immediately. Let me know if you have some time. I can train and certify you in something else. <laughs> 